Hi, and welcome to Memory Lane Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I antique my papers. The ones that I have here, I'm using in a flip-flap album that I'm making, and I don't want it to be so bright. I want it to be a little bit more antique looking, so to speak. Um, so, what, I'm, what colors I'm going to use, what inks I'm going to use are bamboo, desert sand, and chocolate inks from close to my heart. I am also going to be using sponges and sponge dauber. Now you don't have to use a sponge dauber, you can still use a sponge and get the same effect. Um, it just happens to be what was closest by that I'm using. Um, this paper that I'm using is from Recollections All Seasons Paper Pad. It's originally 12 by 12 paper and my album is 6 by 6 so I have some cut up. So the first step you're going to do is always use uh, lighter to darkest inks. Um, it's basically the same technique that I used on my shaded background tag. Uh, if you want to go check that video out, you're more than welcome to. I'd appreciate it. So you can take bamboo and you're going to start at the edges and you're just going to keep going around, all the way around. Um, you keep doing that and slowly build in and then if you want, you just take it, dab some off on, on oops, I'm off camera, dab some off on your craft mat sheet and then go into the center. Don't be afraid to to put it in, into it, and and wherever you want the age look to look, wherever you think it'll get like the most handling, that's where you want to do it. You can see a little bit on there. So this one is already done with all bamboo ink. On here, you can go this way. I don't know if you can see. And this is the how it started out, how nice and bright it was. I don't know if you could tell the difference or not. I'm not sure. My camera's at a bad angle. Again, I'm using my laptop camera. As you can see, this paper was actually right here, right here on the page. So you can kind of see the difference in it, how much darker it looks. Okay, and that's just with the bamboo. Now, if you wanted to, you could definitely stop right there and you'd be done. But me, no, I don't stop. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my desert sand ink. I'm going to open that one up, move that out of the way, I'm going to use my sponge, put it, ink it up, and again, I, I dab some of it off here because I don't want it to be too stark. As you can see, when you first put it on, it's pretty dark. And then you just go around the sides. Because you know, whenever you're handling something, if you notice something that's older, the edges are always the darkest and most worn. Because, you know, people have grease on their fingers or whatever it is. And it kind of sticks and the dirt kind of collects there. Now you can leave it like that if you want. But I'm going to dab in into the center. Now you see how I'm dabbing most of the ink off onto my craft mat? Because I don't want a big stark black spot in the middle. Or should I say brown, not black. And I just kind of swirl it in there anywhere. Anywhere I think it would look good. And it blends in the bamboo ink too. And then I just take my sponge and just go all the way around, just like as if I'm cleaning it off, cleaning my sponge off. Let's see if you can see. Hopefully you can see it. Let me turn this this way so you can see. If you can see the difference. Okay. And then after that, we're going to use this chocolate ink. Now the chocolate ink I like to use just basically around the edges. Again, I always dab a little bit off on the, on the craft mat and then lightly go over. Oops, this paper is so thin. You have to be careful. The ink does kind of make the paper a little wet so it does bend up a little bit easier. And you just keep going around. Now some places I just go right directly on like the corners because I like that a little bit darker. And just go around circular motions any way you want to do it. It's all a matter of preference. And then I kind of do at the corners I always do a little swishy half circle kind of a action just to blend it in a little bit.
right there just looks a little too bright for me. There we go. And there you have it. Here is what the finished antique or vintage paper looks like. I'm going to put it with the rest of the paper so you can see how it all looks together. Oops. Leaving it that way. And that's how it looks. See this one, this 6x6 six six square is much more antique looking than the rest of this. While this is all nice, bright, clean, and crisp, this looks a little dingy and old. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great day.